So Blackmagic has released another version of the public beta of the DaVinci Resolve 19. And most of the highlights is surrounding about the cloud sync and now adding more cloud sync capabilities, meaning that you will be able to record your cameras on site. And if you have some sort of internet connection to the camera, you will be able to sync this to the Blackmagic Cloud, to which will immediately go directly to your Resolve project that you, your editor can start editing. So great feature there, but there is another feature that came with this that to me, from a color standpoint, is something that I am mostly excited about, and that's something involving the film look creator, and we're gonna talk about all that today. What's going on everybody, my name is James Jackson. If you're new here, I do tips, tricks, news, and reviews for the film and video making industry. So if this is content that you like, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button so you can stay up to date on all the content going forward. So the public beta of version four of Resolve 19 is just came out yesterday. And one of the cool little subtle things that came with it was a, was a change to the film look creator. Now, if you all seen my last previous video uh, comparing the film look creator to something like Dehancer Pro, I pulled out some of the critiques. Uh, basically, one of the critiques was that there was a look that kind of, a film look that was kind of baked into the, the to the effects and to which you couldn't turn it off. And this kind of created a limitation of where you would have to choose that, uh, choose film look creator or choose or go somewhere else with like Dehancer, even though there was a lot of things that I really wish I could use together. Well, with this public beta 4, they made some changes where this is now completely possible, where you can get much more customization. And essentially, you can decide if to turn that, that look that's baked into the film look creator or not. So without any further ado, let's dive in and let's check out the video out. Okay, so we have a clip up here that you can see that I kind of already uh, done uh, using some of the layer mixing, which is something I, I'm really loving, but, and we'll talk a little bit more about this later. Uh, we'll take that off. But as you can see, uh, this is sort of what you kind of would get with the film look creator, which is right here. We're gonna turn that off. So this is normally what this would uh, typically look like uh, with the film look creator. But, and then we turn it on, and then it, as you can see, it puts in this look, which looks great, it looks awesome, but uh, one of the things that I had is like, there's so many cool things like the bleach bypass, rich this, I really love the color. Uh, the way the color works, I love how the white balance and tint works. I really, I was like, I wish there was a way that we could just do this on our own. Well, now we can, because if you were to say, let's put in Dehancer Pro. So I'm gonna uh, put in Dehancer real quick. If I was to try to put this Dehancer on, and let's put it into Kodak 2383, let's turn this off, and then of course there's the film grain. Turn that off, turn all these additional effects off real quick. Uh, I know Dehancer is watching this, the Dehancer team is watching this. I really would appreciate if you just had a clean slate default uh, setting where none of the effects were applied on Dehancer so we could kind of tweak it as we go. Uh, just my idea. But as you can see here, like if we wanted to put the Kodak 2383 print, as you can see, it's, it is quite contrasting because again, you're putting this LUT here because this is what it would look like, which would be pretty nice on its own. But with this, it kind of just puts everything, it makes it very crunchy, not really appealing. So, and that's typically how you would get, or you would get all the defaults. Well, as of Resolve 19 Beta 4, there's this part called Clean Slate, which basically, as you'll see here, as I turn the effect on and off, it's, it no longer affects. As you can see, on, off, on, off, as you can see, look at the waveforms. It doesn't affect. So this basically gives you a complete clean of bill. It doesn't apply any look or, uh, into it. You can decide. So now the film look is sort of baked in here. So uh, you could decide if, how much of that film look you want to apply, and you can now and you got a slider to the side, which is awesome. 
So we could basically come in and say, all right, we want this. Maybe I want my skin bias. And then we could then again adjust the skin bias. But now everything can be adjusted right here, which is awesome. So now I can do something like a Kodak 2383 look that I kind of want. And then I was like, oh, you know what? I, I, let's break this down. It's closer to the 56, like right there. Uh, we want to add maybe a little bit more green to it there. And then if I want to like then add, now I can, now I can actually add in my subtractive, subtractive saturation. I can punch some of these richness. And more importantly, it's the thing I really like. It's like the bleach bypass. So I can add in the bleach bypass. So now I've got Dehancer and the film look creator looking. This to me opens up so many possibilities just because the, the ability to turn this whole thing off. Uh, now you can, again, combine this with Dehancer or something like Film Convert Nitrate, where with Film Convert with uh, Dehancer, I could just, hey, I want the Kodak 2383 look. That's the film look I want to sort of go with. You can now apply that if you want to and just basically use Dehancer or Film Convert as sort of like your, your, pr your print. It can be able to, you can behave it like a print. And then if you want to just throw in something like the, like a, fil uh, uh, a film profile, you know, you can throw that in there and you can put that at the end and basically use the film look creator to sort of build the characteristics of the film look now versus having a film look already baked into it. The other thing that makes this really cool is now you can decide if you want to, you can now uh, use the individual pieces like, Okay, but if you want to just have a node that, uh, for example, if you just want to have a node that you want to just say, hey, I just want this to be the bleach bypass. And you just want to make that. Well, now you can basically say, all right, we're going to take that. This, this, this one is going to only do use the, uh, the bleach bypass. So we're only going to put that there. So now we can apply the bleach bypass. Duff, and then we set this to clean slate. And now we can just use this as our bleach bypass. And now you can just layer it how you want to. It gives you way more flexibility. It gives you a lot more control over the look now. And you can use it with multiple plugins. Like, I'm, I'm so happy that this change happened. Uh, and I'm really excited to see all the various kinds of looks that I can get with it. Uh, this was just a quick video I wanted to just do for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know. Leave your comments down below. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care, everyone.